Hey guys, um, I'm going to share something with you really quick. So, um, I was looking at this the other day. This is, uh, this is a Mosey Award. Um, I got this a while ago um, from, <laughs> well, we had a banquet at the church. They do this thing every year. And it's kind of like a, a banquet where they just celebrate people that, you know, serve that kind of thing. But they give out these awards and they're kind of like joking. Um, they have some significance. And um, the, anybody who's sitting there right now going, oh, Ken's about to brag about a word, an award he got. Um, you're going to feel pretty stupid in a second when you find out what that what that award was actually for. But um, I just wanted to talk about that for a minute because um, actually I got this award uh, for worst background check ever. And... Uh, Number one, if your church is not handing out awards for worst background check ever, that's because um, our church is cooler than yours. But um, really what's cool about it is I got to thinking about it, and I'm, I, I want to share like two things really quick um, It made me think of the other day when I was looking at it the other night. Um, a while ago, I got offered a job. I went through an interview process. It was, it was a while ago, and I was trying to better myself, and um, I got offered a job um, managing this company, managing for this company, leading in this company, and uh, the background check was running a little bit behind, and uh, so I'd been working there almost a week. You know, I had the keys, code to the safe, all that stuff, um, and before I go to work one day, I get this call um, from them, and they said, uh, your background check came came back, and uh it's not gonna work out. So uh, I remember, I remember telling them like, okay, I'll I'll bring your key back in, and they were like, no, we're good. We already changed the locks, that kind of thing. Um, so later on, I got this letter in the mail um, from the company, and, and basically saying, um, I remember it used the words uh, disqualified you from employment. Your background check has disqualified you from employment, and. Uh, so, you know, fast forward uh, a, a lot of years later, uh, me and Megan were looking, that's my wife, uh, me and Megan were looking for a, uh, a place to live, to move back to Wadsworth. Um, and we were looking at places and she found a place she really liked and uh, we had to fill out some applications. And uh, so we filled out some applications. We filled out this one for this place she really, really liked. She really wanted, it had enough bedrooms for everybody, all the kids and everything. And um, we didn't get a call back, but we got a letter <laughs> once again in the mail that said, um, it disqualified us from being rented to because of my background check, um, that we were disqualified for being considered for, for tenants. Um, so uh, what I'm getting at here and, and, and side note, what's really cool is just because we wanted that place doesn't mean that's the place God wanted for us. Um, and looking back at it now, we're exactly where we needed to be and we're in a, we're in a great place and a, and a place we've been able to use, um, to serve God. But, uh, I started thinking about this and here I have this award for, for worst background check ever. And wouldn't you know, um, th that the same background check that disqualified me from a position with a company in the world or from being a tenant or having a place in the world is the exact same thing that Jesus considers um, Jesus considers the perfect resume um, and actually qualifies me um, for a position um, in God's army and, and a position in God's company and in his workforce. And I, I just started thinking about that, and that was really cool. So every time I look at this mosey, it reminds me of that, um, that actually the thing that disqualifies me in, in many other you know, in many ways in the world is exactly what makes me qualified um, in Jesus. So um, I just want to encourage you, if you have, you know, whatever in your background, uh, whatever you have going on, whatever you have back there that you're ashamed of, don't hide it. Uh, bring it out, whether it fits in a manila envelope or a manila folder or, uh, you know, if it's like mine, you need a three ring binder. Um, bring it out and submit that as your resume uh, to God. God wants to use that very thing 
that you think disqualifies you. Um, to, he wants to use that uh, to, to make you useful and to help others and to bring others closer to him. And uh, if you're not hearing this kind of stuff on the regular, this is exactly the kind of stuff that we're teaching weekly um, at Mosaic. Um, check us out, mosaicneo.org. Um, you know, uh, bring your resumes. All right, thanks.